Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Soulstones last episode. Oh man, we are getting ready for the final battle. The Mind Link Prime is on its way to the origin to take over everything. We've teamed up with the Time Wraiths, we've got all the um, Time Spires pointing towards us to power up them as much as we can, and we're ready to take on the Mind Link Prime. So let's speak to Ezreal, let him know we are ready. Are you ready for the final battle, Volti? Oh, we are ready. Not a moment too soon. The Mind Link Prime has begun his assault on the origin. The others have just finished returning from the Time Spires. So just as the others finish returning to the origin, hordes of parasites begin marching upon the origin. The Mindlink Prime leads the parasites down the passageway to the origin, while the Time Wraiths, Temporal Guardians, and Dimensional Spectres hold them off. In the back, the group braces themselves for the final confrontation. Ooh. Brace yourselves everyone, the attack begins. Steady, steady. They've breached the barricades. The Spectres are there to defend us. Oh, there's more coming. There are too many! Whew. The Temporal Guardians are the Dimensional Spectres have fallen. It falls upon us then, brothers. Come, the apex of the conflict is upon us. My, my. I must commend you on the uh, valiant defense you have mustered up this far. My dear brother. Do you like my new look, Ezreal? I find it quite fitting. Wouldn't you agree? Alistair. Unfortunately, your pitiful Argent revolution has lost, in the most fantastic of ways. The Republic is victorious. And while you cower in this sacred temple like the worm you are, all of a pot bends its knee to me. And to cement my domination, you brought me straight to the place while, where I will be able to accede my influence throughout all of space-time. My power previously would have been limited to just a pot in the current timeline, but of course, now that I have assimilated your friends into my mind link, I see the way to have so much more power. Any final words, Ezreal? Time Wraiths, I command you to use the Shadow Stone. Empower yourself and attack the Mind Link Prime now. Do not let our sacrifice be in vain, mortals. For a punch! Ooh, the Mind Link Prime is incapacitated. Everyone hurry into position so we can begin the ritual. We're ready, Ezreal. Everyone, raise your soul stones in the air and focus it toward the Mind Link. You don't have much time. It's working. Everyone keep concentrating your energy on the soul stones. He's getting weaker. Your pitiful soul prisons cannot hold me. I'm infinite! We're almost there. I can resist your spells and your soul prisons and fight you all by one by one if I must. My vessel shall come to my aid. Behold, the fallen vessel. Maintain the ritual, everyone. Oh, snap. Alright, here we go, the final battle. This battle's pretty tough, but I think we can do it. I think the Koga is definitely still part water, so we can wood hammer it. I'm gonna start going for some Calm Minds and hopefully just uh, get super strong so we can just sweep with Starmie like we did before. And Light Screen, that really sucks. Just gonna take myself out. Oof. Okay, so I'm gonna go Infernape. I was hoping to one-shot the Koga, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, Super Power can do the trick and now we get a little bit stronger. Nice. And more Calm Minds. Anguish. Ooh, okay. Uh... You are not actually um, dark type anymore. You're, I think you're ghost something, so I can't hit you with fine type. So I'm going to go hit the Hooper and Calm Mind again. Okay, not bad damage, not bad damage. And you're Dark Pulse me, that's fine. I can take Dark Pulses. Easy. And keep trying to sucker punch my Starmie. I much appreciate that. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna go for one more and then have a calm mind. Goodbye, Hooper. All right, two down, like 10 more to go. <laughs> this is a really difficult battle. All right, gonna go for Drain Punch and Psychic. Nice. Nice. I think if I focus on the right side, like, I don't think um, Darkrai can do much to us. Obviously, he's doing a bit of damage, but I think we're fine if we stay like this. So I'm going to go um, Wild Charge and... Do I go Psychic? Do I go Power Gem? I think I go Psychic. No, I go Power Gem. I go Power Gem. No, you just lived. Oh, that sucks. Takes itself out, though. Oh, that's not good. Okay. And now you've got Mega Rayquaza. Uh, what do we do against this? 
Um, can we bring Swanna? And if I go... Wild Charge Dazzling Gleam. Not enough to take you out. Don't double attack my... Ah, uh, you double attack my Infernape. You suck. It's the light screen. If the light screen wasn't up and it went down, things would have been so different. So what if I try and get back to how I was before? So if I go for like a Destiny Bond here and then I max revive Starmie, I could just like try and Destiny Bond my way to victory. Ooh. And I'm going to go... Actually, because Destiny Bottom is still going to be active for a turn. Let's Max Revive Infernape. Oh, I, did, I thought I went back enough. Oh, my bad. It's fine, because Dark Rise gone. Right. Uh, let's go Infernape. Oh, Lukia, great. Going to superpower you. Now I can flinch Lugia, that'd be great. Oh, it does not do enough damage. I thought maybe it can just do a bit there, but that's going to take us out. And you got a crit. Oh, dude. This is not looking good. Right. Uh, time to start panicking. Power gem. Nice. Oh, okay. What to do against Zygarde? I think... Max Revive again. And I'm gonna go for a Psychic. Oh, man. oh, we lived! I thought I was gonna take us out. Oh, and you're the same as Inferno. Great. That's what you like to see. Hmm. I think I kind of got her. That's not much damage. Oh, he's doing what I do, man. It's not fair. <laughs> I hate this. Can't be doing what I do. Um... Gonna alpha potion and then I'm gonna go play rough. Oh, that's not bad damage there to be fair. Oh! We she lived. Okay. That's real clutch. Maybe I can get lucky if I go calm mind, play rough, take out a turn oh not turn to um Oh you lived with a little bit of HP, are you kidding? Oh, I can't believe you lived that. I honestly can't believe you lived that. Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's just try and take out the Zygarde. Nice. Oh, we actually lived. Okay, that's really good. Oh, man, the Ultra Necrozma. Um, right, I've got a Calm Mind. And I've got no more Max Potion. So Max Revive. So i got to go for a normal Revive. Uh... Burn Ape. Oh, we lived. That's good. Right, I have to go... Full Restore. Can I get lucky and go for another Full Restore? I don't know if we live this. I can try. Oh, Burn Ape can't. Okay. So I'm going to go for a... Uh, drain Punch. Ah, oh, it's not enough damage. I need to be buffed up to... Oh, you got a crit. That could lose us the battle if you attack us. You didn't, which is good. Yeah, very good. But I need to heal up. It depends how much damage we can take. That crit really just set us back a little bit. All right. Another Calm Mind. 
we are essentially just like Starmies just needs to try and live. <laughs> the good news is they can't do much to us. Oh my goodness. If you as long as they don't get a crit. If they get a crit, it's bad. If they don't though, we're fine. A little bit more. Right. So next turn I'm gonna revive. Who do I revive? Who do I revive? This is this is a hard battle, man. Can I power don't even take a hit? But possibly. I've got to take out the Necrozma though. That Necrozma is getting way too strong with the Calm Mines. Uh, and if I can heal up, maybe I can keep you alive? No, I did the wrong one. It's fine, I managed to just live a little bit. Oh, I thought I healed up a Paladon. But it worked out in the end. It's not great, honestly, but hey, if we can just keep two on the field, not make it a 1v2 again. Right, once Eternatus goes, it should be alright. I'm gonna go Woodhammer. Might take myself out here. That sucks. But if I attack you, maybe we take you out? Nice. Oh, we're in a 1v1 now. Oh, we can do this. We can do this. Right. There's no point in me um, trying to, you know, just fight right now because there's a chance to actually set up. And I can just like, power gem, superpower. It's only a little bit, but it'll probably work. Nice. Right. Oh, Cresselia. <laughs> uh, I got Power Gem, I guess, and I'm just gonna have to... I'll play it safe and I'll heal um, Starmie. I cannot lose Infernape. This battle is way too tough. Oh, it's super effective. Oh, I should have done... Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Hobo, uh... I mean, if you're Still, oh, that's not bad actually. Bulk up, okay. I have a power gem. See, Star Meat is just the best. Ternatus, okay, okay. Power gem. Oh, we just lived. Oh, we did it. Oh, Star Meat is just so good. <laughs> Impossible. My beloved vessel. The vessel has become unstable. Everyone take cover. Ooh. Israel, no. Kara, no, we can't lose our focus now. We can't give up now, everyone. Keep channeling. Terminal uh, failure imminent. Uh oh. We have him, everyone. Just keep pushing. Have we done it? It's over, everyone. The mind link has been sealed away in the soul stones. Circle of soul keepers, leave this place at once. For the good of all space time, we must separate before the mind link is allowed to break free from the soul stones. Leave now! With the Great fracture, Fracturing reenacted and the Mindlink Prime successfully trapped in the Soul Stones, the new circle of Soul Keepers fled the origin to ensure the Mindlink Prime would not be able to break free from its prison. Amidst the final confrontation, the origin, the hub of all space time, was critically damaged from the explosion that took the life of. E oh, Ezreal died, okay, the brother of the Apoch Republican director. As a new Soul Keeper, you will never see the others from your group again, for fear of allowing the Mindlink Prime to break free and flourish once again. The Jade Soul Stone that you carry now holds a fraction of the power of the Mindlink Prime that you have charged with the burden of carrying the Soul Stone to make sure the evil of the Mindlink is never allowed to walk the Apoch region again. Upon fleeing the origin to return to Agnes's lab, you fell into a deep coma. Agnes Campbell has been taking care of you since your collapse. In the meantime, with the Mindlink defeated and the Republic now leaderless, Agnes Campbell, General Jason Almeida, and Agent Roberts were able to reclaim the Apoch region from the Republic and begin to rebuild their country. Woo! Okay, so we end the game in a coma? 
But we managed to uh, save the world, save the future. Anything else? Gotta say, that was a uh, banger of a game. So many twists and turns. So many twists and turns. You think like, oh, okay, it's gonna end here. Oh no, there's a new bad guy. Oh no, betrayal here, betrayal there. Just, oh wow. That was, and that was one hell of a boss battle at the end. Bit busted. It was hard to do. It was like a, what, a 12v6 with legendaries that looked like they were new types and powered up. Oh, three months later, it's not over yet. Okay. What the hell? Where am I? What time is it? Uh, Volta, you're awake. Ma, get over here now. What, what happened? Volta, you're awake after three long months. What, three months? Yes. What's the last thing you remember? The events at the origin and locking away the Mind Link Prime and the Soul Stone. The amulet around your neck glimmers faintly. The Jade Soul Stone suddenly hums loudly. The Jade Soul Stone? So it wasn't a dream. It definitely wasn't. The Mind Link Prime has been locked away in the Soul Stones. So we won, it's over. At a deep cost, yes. Ezreal sacrificed himself to shield the Soul Keepers when the fallen vessel was destroyed. Further, the origin was irreparably damaged and the entire circle of Soul Keepers had to evacuate the origin before it imploded. Imploded, what? Where are the others? What happened to them? Faulty, it's better that I show you. Return with me to the Time Matrix. There is a portal to the Time Matrix downstairs in my lab. I will call for the others in the meantime. Meet me downstairs. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Alright. What's this about the origin imploding? What does that even mean? I expect nothing good, but unfortunately the Time Wraiths are no longer there to help us interpret what this means. You can think of each timeline being a separate and unique bubble that is perfectly still. Kept intact and in position because of the origin regulating the movement of the bubble. When the origin was destroyed, the delicate balance that it kept each of the bubbles within was broken, and the bubbles were allowed to roam freely, and sometimes overlap. Previously, uh, when there were malicious actors that tried to travel between the time bubbles, such as when we did use the time gate, the time wraiths came after us to punish us. But with the time wraiths sacrificing themselves, it meant that there would be no central authority to preserve the balance anymore. With the origin and the time wraiths gone, there was no one or nothing there to regulate and enforce the time stream. My research has indicated that it has meant that, has meant that the malicious actors are now able to change things causing the various time bubbles to overlap, which could create a break or create a new bubble or any manner of possibilities. Now that sounds really bad. Indeed, it is very concerning. Agent Roberts, General Almeida, you're arrived. Uh, we came as soon as Agnes sent word for us to come here. We dropped everything to see our savior awaken. But where is everyone else? You mean you don't remember what happened? Uh, what are you talking about? Volty, after the great fracturing, the new circle of soul keepers, you, Cameron, Rhea, Kara, Alexis, Leo, Celine, Caitlin, and Natalia had to be separated. The power of the mind link was so formidable that when the fallen vessel exploded, the origin was critically damaged. It allowed all of the aforementioned time bubbles to mesh together and overlap. So portals began opening with the origin that uh, each of the new soul keepers used to flee. They fled through the portals to different timelines. Unlike the beast, the power of the mind link was so strong that simply separating across the same timeline still wasn't enough that we made an executive decision to instruct the soul keepers to take the portals and start new lives within different timelines. Before you could take a portal yourself, the fragment of the mind link prime that resided within your jade soul stone in such close proximity to the other soul stones was so strong that you collapsed before you could, you could evacuate and fell into a coma where you've been for the last three months. We took you back with us and have kept you apart from the other soul keepers for the entire time. And while you've been in that coma, Agent Roberts, General Almeida, and myself have slowly worked to rebuild the Apoch region and clean up that remains of the Apoch Republic's rot from our region. So, Kara, Rhea, Cameron, all of them are in new timelines? Correct. And we aren't sure to what timeline they went to either. All we know is, so long as they're away from any timeline that is within close proximity to another Soul Keeper, the power of the Mind Link Prime doesn't surge like it did so soon after the Great Fracturing. However, with the origin no longer there to keep each timeline unique, and distinct from one another, we expect there will be cases where if a time bubble approaches one that another Soul Keeper is in, it could cause a surge of the Mind Link Prime's power, jeopardizing that time bubble. So what does that mean for me? It means that you ha now have a burden to be carried for the rest of your mortal life. You are now what we are referring to as a Time Warden, a new sort of wraith that will travel across timelines and seek out malicious actors that would seek to manipulate time towards their own evil ends. With the power of your soul stone at your side, you can tap into the power of the mind link to police those evils, evil actors and pursue them and bring them to justice. That's deep. 
how exactly am I to know where these evil people are that are trying to mani manipulate time to begin with? For the Time Matrix, it shall now become your home, Time Warden Voltsy. The portal beside you shall take you to the new Time Matrix, while I shall direct you on where to find these time anomalies. Step through it and I shall guide you further. Oh, okay. Alright. Wait, wrong place. Time Matrix. Okay, so once again we, we return to the Time Matrix. This shall be your home base, Foxy. From the Time Matrix, I have the ability to identify inconsistencies and anomalies in space-time across multiple timelines. If any aberrations in the flow of space-time are detected, it is a leading indicator that something is amiss in a certain timeline. At that point, I shall let you know and open a portal to that location so you may hunt down the wrongdoers and bring them to justice. In the meantime, I've opened a portal from here back to the 21st century if you desire to return to your original timeline as well. Hold on, Agnes. Our minds were warped into these host bodies that came from the 21st century that we used to know. Are we certain that none of the Soul Keepers returned to that specific timeline? We can't be certain. No, Agent Roberts. However, if Voltsy does happen to go back in, uh, to the timeline, we'll come to know very quickly because the Soul Stones will start to radiate with the energy and, be and because of its proximity to another Soul Keeper. If that does happen, Voltsy will need to abort the mission or get as far away as possible to make sure he doesn't fall into another coma. Or whatever else might happen. We're not entirely sure what the uh, side effects of carrying these soul stones. Insofar I can tell though, it should be safe to return. Time Warden Voltsy, I will let you know if I detect any anomalies in the meantime. Feel free to make yourself at home in the Time Matrix. This is going to be your new home now. Oh, okay. Uh... So, I must be really smart, but we're still dealing with very advanced subject matter here. Okay. Uh... So, anything in the 21st century? So could this be the end then? My mom's just like, yo, what are you being through? What have you been doing? So I think this could be the end. Are the zombies like still all dead in here? Oh yeah, someone should probably clean that mess up. Can you imagine if someone from Lily Pad just walks in and goes, Ayo, what's happening in the lab? It's been a while, let's go in there. Hmm, it's empty. Hello, anyone home? Jesus Christ, what's going on? Ah, zombies everywhere! That'd just be really bad, but yeah. I think... I think we're done now, right? Uh... I guess it's just like we get to... Oh, need to go to the time matrix. Yeah, so nothing there. So I guess we just maybe wait until another update for this game to add... Um, missions? But that's so cool. This game was so long, man. Did the post game, or did the main story, the post game story. And it looks like we saved the region, which is good. And now we just gotta basically go on a nice little adventure, just saving timelines, which sounds pretty cool. But man, that this has been Pokemon Soul Stones. Gotta say, banger of a game. I will admit, my throat is killing me from all the, uh, the dialogue and reading. Oh man, I just. I was not prepared for this. I would have, you know. Just warmed up my throat a little bit before uh, starting this game. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this has been really fun to play for. I loved all the regionals. The uh, the region was really awesome. The story was the story was great, man. The story was just didn't know who to trust. Did not know who to trust. Just even like Ezreal went, ended up was being a good guy. I thought at one point because we saw his name in the um, the little digital things. I thought oh, he's got to be a bad guy. No, he turns out to be a good guy, but then Victor was just good, but also bad. It was just, oh man, there was, there was a lot. But I really enjoyed this game, and um, yeah, if we do get more missions, we'll definitely uh, come back to it. But for now, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.